Hi, my name is Artem and in this Lens Studio tutorial we are going to cover how to use the hand gesture template to make a lens. This template allows you to trigger different effects based on recognized hand gestures. It shows an example of showing a stylized picture of a recognized gesture as well as triggering a sound effect. You can use this template to make lenses that respond to close hand gesture, index finger gesture, vector gesture, horns gesture and open gesture. It allows you to create responses to these gestures using the behavior script. Select the hand gesture controller object in the objects panel, then in the inspector panel you can see a list of behavior triggers to emit for each of the recognizable gestures. This template comes with two examples, using these triggers to play a sound effect and to show a visual effect. Let's take a look at the close hand example. We can see the sound effects that are used in this template by unfolding the sound effects object in the objects panel. Next, select the close SFX object to see how this effect is set up. In the inspector panel, notice that there is a behavior script that is set to be triggered by close gesture trigger, which is the same as what was listed in the hand gesture controller object from earlier. Then it has a respond tab of play sound, which will get called when the trigger occurs. Let's replace this with our own sound. Drag the file from your computer to the resources panel and replace the audio track field with the newly imported sound by clicking on the field. Awesome! Now, when the close hand gesture is detected, you should hear your own sound. Next, let's take a look at how the visual effect works. The visual effect is created by using the prefab system. Unfold the hand prefab instantiator object in the objects panel and select the hand close instantiator. Like before, you can see a behavior script which responds to the same trigger. In this case, it has a response type to instantiate prefab. You can see that there is a corresponding object underneath the adjacent prefab source. Let's try modifying this object. First, we'll enable the prefab source object so that we can see our prefab by toggling the checkbox next to the object. Then, select the prefab to change its attribute. We'll make the image of this prefab bigger in the send panel by dragging the resize box. Great! To save the prefab, we'll press apply in the inspector panel. Now that we are done with our modification, we'll disable the source object so that it doesn't appear within our lens. We can see that the visual effect is now bigger. Try modifying or creating your own prefab. Without changes made, we are ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Preview on Snapchat in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Send Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own lenses using the hand gesture recognition template.